going on guys? Sorry with Force Turbos here. Today I'm going to be installing one of our Razor Untamed Exhausts. If you look up here, this is what it's going to look like when it's shipping out to you. There's no assembly needed. Uh, this one down here though, it's had a couple hours on it, but we're going to go ahead and install this one right now. Let's get it going. So for the tools that you're going to need, it's a simple install. You don't even need any power tools. Um, so we're going to be using a 13 millimeter wrench, a 3.8 ratchet, T40 socket, a 13 millimeter socket, a 10 millimeter socket, and an 8 millimeter socket. We're also going to be using a spring puller, but if you don't have that, I mean, a pair of pliers will work good too. So let's get into this. We're going to be removing this plastic cover here. You're going to need your T40 and your 3.8 wrench. We're going to remove these four bolts here, and yeah, let's get to it. Brackets. You're not going to really need them anymore for this, our new muffler that we're installing, but uh, you will want to keep these just in case you want to return it to stock. So for that, I'm going to use a 10 millimeter and the same ratchet. So for the top brackets, it's just on the side, on each side of these over here. And I'm going to go ahead and remove those as well. All right, with those brackets removed, we're going to go ahead and start taking the actual muffler off. To do that, we're gonna remove this spring up here on top. I'm gonna come around to the side. There's another spring here that's also holding it in that we're gonna take out. And then we're gonna remove these three bolts here and slide the exhaust off. So to do that first, let's go ahead and remove those springs. Now this spring you're not going to need anymore. This top one, however, you will. All right, to remove these bolts, we're going to need our 13 millimeter wrench and socket. Now when you're removing this, you want to be careful not to drop the exhaust. And also there's going to be a gasket in here that you don't want to drop either. that the muffler should just slide right off so with the exhaust off we're gonna remove this bolt here it's just a transmission brace don't worry it's not gonna drop anything it's just a bolt that's holding it in but uh let's go ahead and get that off so that we can install our new exhaust now with that bolt off let's go ahead and get this installed You want to make sure you line everything up right, correctly. These uh, grommets may need to be moved to left or right depending on its orientation. Let's go ahead and get this bolt back in. And we're going to want to torque it down to 18 foot pounds. All right, next one, we're going to install this spring up on the top. It's a little tricky to get to, but with some work, you can get it in. All right, and lastly, don't forget your gasket. We're gonna install it, the three bolt flange back on the exhaust. When tightening these down, you wanna be careful not to over torque them, strip them out or break them. The torque spec for these is 17 foot pounds. So 
So just to make sure that we're not over tightening these bolts or over torquing them, we want to make sure that they're to manufacturer spec. So for the first, the transmission bolt, it's 17 foot pounds. So let's go ahead and check that. Now with that bead, that means that we're good. So also with these three bolt flange here, uh, it's, uh, it's 18 foot pounds. All right, now if you wanted to install a stock sparker arrester, uh, we can go ahead and take it out of the, the old exhaust here. It's just an eight millimeter on the back. You're gonna wanna make sure that you don't drop this other bolt on the inside. Set that aside. Let's go ahead and just slip it right inside. Okay. Now this one doesn't have to be too tight. You just gotta give it a little quick snug. And that'll do it. All right, with everything secured, you wanna make sure that everything is double checked and you wanna make sure it's good. Uh, let's go ahead and start it up, see what it sounds like.